Malcolm, or Mac Butner as he's called, is the chairman of the Rowan County Housing Authority in North Carolina. And you're about to find out why it's absolutely terrifying that this guy gets to make decisions that affect people's housing. So Butner was recently online venting about the Moral Monday protests in North Carolina. So for those of you who don't know what Moral Monday is, it's basically this fantastic populist movement that goes out there in the streets in North Carolina on the Capitol and peacefully protests to try to force the far-right lunatics that have taken over the state government to stop cutting education and health care and doing all these terrible things, which they have been doing. The rightward shift in North Carolina has been horrendous. So all these people doing the Moral Monday protests, they're, they're heroes as far as I'm concerned. You know, they're actually getting out there and standing up for democracy, and the will of the people is clear, even according to the polls. People don't want these education cuts and health care cuts and whatnot, and that's what the government is doing. So that's what Moral Monday is, and here's what Butner said about the protest. Quote, Gee, they are all black. I guess the white folk could not get off because they were too busy working and being productive good citizens. Hmm. You know, maybe you should have uh, added a sprinkle more subtlety in your overt racism there. And also, when I read a comment like that, I think, oh, well, that would be good. That speaks well of the African American community. Because I actually give a shit about their government and their democracy. And about treating people right. I guess the white people don't, if I'm using your logic. But it doesn't matter anyway because he's wrong. It's not all black people. There are plenty of white people. We've covered this on the show before. I've uh, shown you the pictures of the protests. It's all, it's all multicultural. There's all different people there. I mean, and they're all doing the right thing. But what does this guy do? Of course he views the protest as bad. So, fall in line, shut up! Accept the cuts! Doesn't matter, don't get an education. Don't get health care. Fuck off, forget your equal opportunity. It doesn't matter. So he hates the protests, right? And then, of course, he's always just gonna focus on the black people that are there, because that's what racists do. They just, it doesn't matter. It, you could have a white person and a black person to do the same thing. If the white person does it, oh, it's fine, no big deal. Black person does it, oh my god, criminal, terrible thug, asshole, you know how they are. This is how racists think. He continues, quote, Liberals and Democrats don't have a principled bone in their body, and they don't care even if our constitutional republic is destroyed. Let me pause there. Just look at how ironic that is. He's saying, oh, these liberals, they don't care about our constitutional republic. Meanwhile, he's the douchebag railing against your First Amendment right to protest. Right to petition your government for redress of grievances. That's in the Constitution. So he's against the Constitution. He's going, oh, these damn liberals are against the Constitution. Oh my, read the Constitution, you dumbass. Read it. But it's asking a far-right conservative Republican to do anything that involves reading and learning. Oh, God, that would never happen. I'm dating myself to even consider it. He says, to hell with the lesbos, queers, liberals, and baby killers. What the fuck? Lesbos, queers? Where is this coming from? No, it's just old white man rage, you know? We lost the country. We can't repress everybody 24-7 anymore. I hate them blacks, queers, Muslims, and all them baby killers and whatnot. Hey, dude, you're so transparent. You're just angry. You're an angry, vicious old bigot who knows your time is up and you're just clawing to try to keep your hands on the levers of power. So... On his page, his Facebook page, there were also several Confederate posts. He said, quote, The primary difference between the leaders of the Confederate States of America and the Union is that Confederate leaders were godly gentlemen and the Union folks were not. Wow. But there we have it. That's what he's really about. He just said the Confederacy was superior and godly, and the Union, they were wrong. What was the, what was the Confederacy fighting for? Slavery. Oh, are you going to sit there and argue this guy's not a racist? Is there anybody who's stupid enough to believe that this idiot's not a racist? Who's pro-Confederacy? Again, you have to at least sprinkle in some subtlety, okay? He's not even smart enough to sprinkle in a little bit of subtlety. 
He's like, no, the Confederate godly, they were right. By the way, look, it's true. The Bible was used to justify slavery, and there is slavery in the Bible, for sure. The Bible can be used to justify any ideology at all, right? But what was the bulk of Jesus' message? It was, oh, well, you know, love your neighbor. C care about immigrants. O open up your house to immigrants and let them in, in your house. Give them a room. Give them food. Clothe them. Take care of them. Take care of the sick and the downtrodden. Look out for people. Be kind to people. But he's like, no, 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 fuck that. Jesus guy's a douchebag. Let's stick to the Old Testament. Let's stick to the slavery and all that gruesome, uh, psychotic, genocidal shit, because that's what I like. <laughs> Look, this would just be another crank saying goofy shit. But again, he's the chairman of housing. He makes decisions that affect people's living situation. If there's anybody out there, after hearing this story, that still thinks, Ah, oh, no, racism's not, racism's dead. Doesn't affect black people anymore. What are you talking about? It's nonsense. A guy who's the head of, uh, a chairman of housing, just said, well, yeah, the Confederate was right. These blacks are all, they don't work. They're assholes. Fuck them. The Confederacy was godly and the Union was wrong. And, oh, what do you think? He's going to allow black people to move into a mostly white neighborhood and have an equal opportunity and live uh, the American dream? 